Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Um, so I have here a brand new, uh, it was manufactured, I think in uh, August 2018. This is the newest, newest of the newest. Uh, yeah, PowerJack has a lot of new versions, but trial and error and suggestions uh, lead us to where we are today. So this is a brand new 8 kilowatt unit, and it's 12 volts. Now, in the 12 volt units, uh, if you don't know by now, converting 12 volts to 120 volts to 240 volts, since this is a split phase inverter, uh, is um, it's a lot of work to step that up by 10 times or 20 times. One of the weak points of doing so in the 12 volt unit in particular are the MOSFETs. You have in previous generations you have one main board that ran across here and Parjack has decided that they're going to improve on this to improve on the surge and hopefully prevent some MOS board issues. Uh, so they actually use two main boards now. Two individual main boards rather than one larger main board. It actually comes up to about right here. So they squeeze these two main boards in here. Now you have the same size uh, MOSFETs but you are getting fewer per board. However, you're getting 16 MOSFETs versus 12 on each side. This is your positive input, DC, and then on the other side, you've got your um, positive output, AC. So, in theory, with more MOSFETs, more boards, more cooling, the 12-volt uh, inverters... Uh, all the way up to 8,000 watts should be able to handle better surge. Now, in my honest opinion, uh, going from 12 volts to 20 or 12 volts to 120 or 240 is at this kind of uh, wattage, 8,000 watts, is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. That that's you would need an enormous battery bank, and I they they actually do sell a lot of these. And I know why, because it's very easy to hook one of these up to just a regular old car battery and off you go. The problem is, is that a lot of people just do just that. They get just some plain old car battery, probably three or five years old, junker, whatever, plug it into this thing, and then try to start their damn neighborhood on it, and then poof. You know, I mean, that's, that's the way that it is, and these are the things that I've, you know, noticed... Uh, just over time, um, but I'll we'll test this fan here. Yeah, this fan works just fine. So, uh, yeah, so they have improved this. If you are in need of a 12-volt unit, which I know some of you out there need because it's simple. You need one battery and you're done. Then the newest of the newest ones have this dual mainboard setup that should improve on surge and sustain outputs. This unit has absolutely no damage internally. It was brought to me because it has physical damage because it was dropped. So that is a simple repair for me. I'll just replace what is uh, damaged. But the unit works great and it really does work fine. Uh, the transformers are identical. Let's see what we got here. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, we got a dual winding 8 volts input uh yeah black yellow so power jack uh in the previous video that i put up well two videos ago when i was testing a transformer power jack does use different colors for their transformers yes it's not underwriters lab whatever it's not certified whatever but it's just the way that they've always been let's see this would be l2 i believe you got uh, L1 here, and then you have your ground center tap. Um, yes, that copper down there, 
that's right there that my finger was near is charged. That is uh, the outside of the winding, which is basically connected right here. So, yes, this copper is charged. But, you know, I'm well familiar with these to know what to touch and what not to touch. Yes, I was down here touching this, but I've received comments on some people who say, oh, you're going to kill yourself and things like that. Well, I know I know what's, what I can touch in these. I know what I can't touch in these. I know. I've, I work on these so much. I have parts everywhere. I've got parts everywhere. I repair these things on a daily basis. <laughs> basis so i know what's safe to touch and what's not safe to touch yes i have been bitten by these before fortunately wearing shoes and sitting in a chair has i have not grounded myself out to an actual earth ground so it's just been a little buzz but yes these things are dangerous they this transformer here Puts up to 240 volts out times, uh, let's see, 120 times 2, so 240 total when you combine both legs here. Uh, so wire and wire gives you 240 or 120 on each one. Yes, it's dangerous. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to show you the newest of the newest versions. If you're looking for one of these, contact PowerJack specifically and tell them that you want one of these if you don't plan on pushing yours to the limits which I do not recommend even with something like this at 12 volts then this isn't gonna matter to you but if you're in really wanting to consistently load the inverter down to five six thousand watts I recommend asking for one of these and um, the twin board setup is going to uh, give you better surge capabilities as well as sustained output so there you go there you have it um, hopefully that will uh, assist you down the road and take care <laughs>